Hi. Okay, so I'm going to make a hat. I'm going to try and make a hat that my sister made. And I made one like it, but not as nice as it sounds like hers look. So, you know, I got to try it. She gave me the directions. And it's, you start off, I got it right here. You start off with three chain stitch. So that's one, two, three. And no comments about my book. <laughs> about my blue fingernails because you see how I have blue hair that's the reason for the bluish fingernails okay so you do that <sighs> and then you make 12 double crochet so that's one two three Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 okay and then then you're supposed to join it I don't really know if I want to join it because I'm not very good at remembering where I stopped and started but we're gonna go ahead and try it okay so you do it you join it with a slip stitch and I'm joining it with a slip stitch because that's what I think it should be and then we're supposed to do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around now I'm gonna leave that hanging out because that kind of tells me where the you know where the inside is also when I've done things before as it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger it kind of like helps me to pull it I know this might sound dumb but you know too bad so if I gotta put double crochets in I'm gonna chain three because that's what a double crochet counts for when you're doing this stuff so it's supposed to have two double crochets in each stitch so that's one two because that chain three that chain three counts as one double crochet I don't know if y'all notice this and y'all might mind if you mind I don't really care get a grip on yourself I'm smoking my cigar what is this Oliva or Oliva. I don't know. However you say it, it's good. <sighs> now, you might also be saying to yourself, why is she holding her crochet hook like that? That's not how you hold a crochet hook. Well, when my grandmother taught me how to crochet, God, I'm pretty old right now, so it it was 50 years ago. It was more than 50 years ago. My grandmother, uh, I couldn't hold it the right way, like this, and hold on to it. It kept slipping out of my hand. She said, just hold it so that you hold it. Don't worry about it. What matters is the stitches and how they turn out. Now, because of how I hold my crochet hook, my stitches are usually tighter than most people's but I don't care that's just the way I make things and I've always done it this way so you know what I'm gonna keep doing it this way now some folks knit and I admire anyone who can finish a project knitting I can knit but I cannot finish a project knitting one, I get bored with it. Two, the reason I get bored with it is because usually I drop a chain or I purl when I should have knitted or whatever. And then you know how it gets those weird little humps in it? Those like little humps. 
and then I take it out because I want it to be right and then it's uneven on the end or something then I take it out to fix it by that point I'm done I'm so tired of that project I mean even to finish just a scarf oh my god I have knitted I believe one scarf to the end it still looked like crap though so I had much rather crochet because crocheting there's a definite end like you see that right you see that this right here this piece right here this very end see that's 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 the side I mean that's like the end and with crocheting I can just tell better where the ends are so even if I'm not counting my stitches I know that that's where I need to turn so yeah uh oh I didn't count this did I uh oh where I see the end uh oh I was talking instead of counting oh well you know what that looks like it's right now to join it in there you're gonna look at it I mean that's the other thing about crocheting a lot of it is common sense now don't put it in here don't put it in the space or it's gonna pull it weird while you're doing your project and it's gonna like zigzag like that zigzag so don't do that I'm just telling you and guess how I know from experience you gotta look at it can you see there's like a hole at the very top that stitch this right here is where I'm going to put it in at I don't know if you can tell I can't really tell where this camera's at but see that can you see you can stick it through there it's like got two two pieces of yarn and that's what you pull through whenever you're joining something join it with a slip stitch just like that see hey that don't look too bad looks better from this side oh I'm so pretty I'm so pretty <sighs> maybe three one two three because that's going to be the first double crochet Let's see what she says for me to do next. I gotta look at my phone because I took a picture of it. All that around. Then one double crochet in two double crochet in the next, and then repeat around. So we're not we're not gonna be increasing. See, we're not gonna make it any bigger. We're gonna put in the same number. So that counts as one. See that one? That one that we just did, that three, that three chain, that's going to count as one double crochet. So then we're going to go into, I don't know if it's my glasses or the camera. Then we're going to go into this next space and put a double crochet in there. Now I hope y'all know how to do a double crochet. You put the yarn over and in the instructions and stuff it'll say Y-O and you stick it see I can see it real good I don't know if y'all can you stick it you stick it in that you can't see it can you okay we'll just take my word for it you stick in that hole and you do like that and you pull it through and you pull it through it's called a double crochet because you pull your hook through the um, yarn twice see one two and we're just putting a double crochet into each double crochet and what we're doing here is we are setting the groundwork for this hat because we expanded and now we're gonna 
give it a little body and then we're going to expand it what I mean by body is kind of like a foundation you know, uh, so, so that it doesn't look crazy. See how, now look at this. Can you see how it's kind of wanting to curve in just a little bit? Because that's going to make the hat go down. I'm not going to crochet this whole thing with y'all right here. Because y'all are going to get bored. If you're not already. I'll probably have to do two parts to this video. I think at the end of this project, it doesn't call for it, but I think I'm going to do something different at the end of it. Like, instead of it ending, like just with the crochet, I think I'm going to put a trim on it. And here's a good thing about making stuff like crocheting and the same with knitting. If you don't like it, you know what you can do? You can take it out. It's not like sewing where you cut the fabric. Now it's just going to be one size and that's it. Oh, no, no, no. With crocheting and knitting, if you don't like it, you unravel it. Now, I generally like blue for me, but a lot of people lately have been telling me that I sure do look good with green. I mean red. You know what? Now look at this. Can you, can y'all see this right here? See how that is? I'm feeling like I need to put another double crochet right here. Because I, I think that gap is just too big. So I'm just going to put one in. Nope. I'm going to put it next to it. That's where it needs to go. And then I'm going to join it. Another way you could do this is you could do a double crochet to join it. Eh. See how I did that? But I don't really like that. Because do you see that? That hole? It makes that hole. It'll be that way all the way through the project. And I don't like that. But if you like it, then you do it. But I'm not going to. Because I don't like it. Just like I said. I don't like that. One, two, three. What do we do next? Oh, come on. When you know it. Alright. One double in two double in next and repeat. I think I messed up. Do first double, then two doubles. One double in two double in next. Oh, I think I messed up. <laughs> That's kind of a pointy head in it. Okay, you remember that part I was saying about if you mess up or if you don't like the way it looks, you can just take it out? Well, there we go. Okay. So, we're going to go one double. No, that was the one double. Okay. And then two double. One double. Then the next stitch, two double. I guess I should call this crochet series How to Not Do It, and then once you did it anyway, how to fix it. I don't know if y'all can hear the kids in the background. I think they're they're playing in the backyard somewhere. A couple of houses down. And those kids, I mean, they're having a good time. But there's one of them that, he doesn't seem happy. He cries a lot. And it doesn't ever sound like the others are being mean to him. It just sounds like he's unhappy. So, I don't know what that is. She doesn't seem that good. 
Really, the hair looks nice, though. Yeah, it does. It's sticking up it. So it's one. One, two. Yeah, see how that looks much smoother and flatter? It's going to be like that all the way around. Well, I'm going to stop for now, and I'll do a second one so that y'all don't have such a long thing to have to watch. Okay, bye.